Hi everyone, welcome back. In this particular demo, I'm going to show you how I can actually reconfigure the service requests. Now, the service requests I published or I actually used in the last demo is a HR employee transfer service request. I'm currently logging as an administrator. So, if I go to more for request offering, it will show me a list of requests that's actually published. Right, and in the search tab, if I look for employee transfer, I will see the location, employee transfer by location, which is this particular form or this request. Now, you're presented with four tabs. So the first tab is actually where I define the parameters such as where this service is located the category is under HR services employee administration over here if you notice this is actually the days which are defined that I will fulfill this service and the cost $250 right as I mentioned earlier on you can easily remove this or configure this to your needs the second tab is actually the form here is where I can easily drag and drop new fields Right, in this case, let's say I wanted to add a new view. I just drag and drop inside here. And I call this additional info. Right, I can add more views if I wanted to. It just depends on your requirements, what you want. The third tab is actually the workflow. This is where the workflow resides. So on my left hand side is a list of actions that I actually can use or drag across to my right hand side to get invoked get invoked so over here if you remember in this particular demo there's a get approval when this ticket is submitted this is where it's actually triggered in this particular case I'm going to quickly add maybe a notification right after the IT has completed its task. So what I can do is drag a notification um, task over here and say OT5 HR. Right. So the from is actually where this um, email is from. I can say it's IT and IT.com. Right. And then the two, I can use the address book. I look at contacts group and maybe look for HR group. And when this is completed, this notification is sent to the HR group. Over here, then I put in my message. Task complete. The notification. So this is to inform the task it is done okay this is static text but i can actually include uh, make it dynamic by including fields right fields from the system or the from the form i can just drag and drop uh, a few over there quite easily owner right i also can invoke some functions such as um, getting the date time and so on and so forth. These are inbuilt function in Ivanti Service Manager. Right. I'm not going to do that now. Just click the save button and this is done. So the next thing I'm going to do is when this task is completed, activate the notification. When this notification is completed, that's all I want to do ends. Right. I'm going to click save and exit right if i'm ready to exit but before that let me introduce you to the last tab which is the organization unit what actually this means is you can actually publish the request to the targeted business unit or organization unit within the organization so what it actually means is only hr uh, bu can actually get this service request or can actually look at and process this service or make this service request Right, on the top here, right, this status right, published means it's actually available in the SR. When I put it in the InDesign, it's not available, it's in the design stage. Let's continue to let it be published. Save this. 
right and then I'm gonna switch my role back into a uh, self-service user so if I go to my self-service user role as I mentioned previously the first presentation is always the dashboard on the cases or the tickets that I submitted go to the service catalog and look for employee transfer location let's fill up this form very quickly okay next so you notice that this additional information is the one that I have added in quickly so information or that you want to publish or fields that you want to add workflow that you want to change can be add on the fly right and then I'm just going to do a simple submission of this case continue oops I forgot to put the date let's put the date and then submit so what happens this is when this is submitted and processed by HR and approved and processed by HR the notification will be sent once IT has completed the task so this is a very simple demo to show you how quickly I can actually change a service catalog existing service catalog that I have published thank you for watching in the next demo I will show you how I can actually build a new service catalog item thank you